Libra Land 1010. Hey, everybody. Welcome. This will be a freestyle reading for Libra, all zodiac placements. My name is Ashley. If you are new, I am a fellow Libra sun. I also have Libra other areas of my chart. Libra, we're going to use my first tarot deck I ever bought myself. This is the Wizard's Tarot by Karen Kenner. It is a discontinued deck. It is very hard to find. We have the King of Swords at the bottom. After quite a vigorous pre-shuffle, we are also going to use the Energy Oracle cards, and we have Deceit at the bottom of those. Libra, one more shuffle on camera. <laughs> Look at that. I cannot make it up. Hello, Divine Femme. Empress Librans. We have the Empress here. Hello, Masculine King of Swords Librans. Now that we know you guys are up in the building, we do have a King of Swords here admiring an Empress Libra. I believe you have a King of Swords admiring you, my friend. I just heard from a distance. From a distance. Freestyle reading for Libra. What's the word? What's the word for Libra? What's going on with Libra right now? What does Libra need to know? Thank you. Okay. We are transitioning out of Scorpio season here very soon. You are still in the rebirth process, Libra. But you're crowning. You're crowning in this rebirth process, which means you're right there. Your head is crowning. <laughs> you're getting ready to be pushed through. Pushed through the canal and reborn, Libra. Many of you could be saying final goodbyes to a fire sign, or you're going through a rebirth along with this king of wands. However that resonates for you, Libra. What else? Thank you, Spirit. Shout out to Azrael, Archangel. Along with Anubis. I just heard they will still work with you if you need them, Libra. My ear just rang. That was an incoming message. Because... And they can feel your sadness when I said, as we enter Sag season, Sagittarius season, that's the temperance card. That's the alchemist. It's all about alchemy and magic. Um, I could feel you guys getting kind of like, no, I like our, having Archangel Azrael and Anubis as a guide. If you still need them, they're not going anywhere just yet. Libra, six of pentacles. Two of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Tower. Someone is getting ready to communicate with you. This Knight of Swords is off to serve a message, okay, about finances. Either they're going to gift you with some um, financial prosperity, Libra, or you're receiving some type of business opportunity, some type of communication in regards to business prospects. It's because you've brought more spirituality into your physical life. Two of Wands was in the middle of these cards. It's because of that, Libra. You're being rewarded. Just because the tower fell, you didn't lose your crap. You know what I mean? You didn't lose yourself. I'm hearing if anything, it made you stronger, your foundation stronger. Thank you, spirit. What else for Libra? And here comes the 10 of cups, Libra. You're going to feel so fulfilled and so happy 
once again, I'm hearing Libra will want for nothing. You're going to want for nil, nada, nothing. You're not going to want for anything. Nine of cups at the bottom. Clarifying the ten of cups. Complete wish fulfillment. And Libra, this is for both of you. You're going to be happy. Single. Your table will be set. Single. And also many of you are meant to come into these divine unions and blended families and brand new families with the Ten of Cups. It's all about what you want and what you're manifesting. Whatever you desire, Libra. You desire to stay single, but celebrate with the people close to you, your friends, your family, your pets I'm hearing, whatever the case. That's that's amazing. You're going to have that option. If you're ready to create a family, you're going to have that option as well, Libra. Oh, your key word is gummy bears for this reading. Gummy bears, Libra. Gummy bears. And it's a gorgeous day outside. It feels like a spring day. It feels like a spring day outside. I just feel like spring 2022 is going to be, I just heard, grandiose, Libra. Grandiose. Eight of Pentacles, out with the strength. Whistle while you work. <whistles> Remain strong when it comes to earning your money, Libra. It's going to start flowing. The flow is going to not be so, um, I'm just hearing hard to come by or so um, forced. Like you feel like you have to work really hard for the pentacles you're earning. Things are going to start coming with more ease because of your strength and your willpower and your sheer determination, Libra, to not give up eight of pentacles. You're going to be rewarded financially. The strength you have shown. It was not in vain. None of it was done in vain, Libra. All those anxious nights, all those sleepless nights, nine of swords at the bottom. It's going to pay off. Blood, sweat, and tears. It's going to pay off. I'd like to talk more about this Ten of Cups. Can you tell me anything else about the Ten of Cups, please? Okay, we'll take them all. You could have met this person at work that you're going to have the Ten of Cups with. Three of Pentacles. They could be coming out of a third-party situation as well with that Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could be a King of Pentacles, Libra, where this is the energy. Angel number 911, I have been seeing that consistently for months upon months, Libra, 911. I don't know if that's this King of Pentacles birthday, September 11th, or what, but... I've been seeing 9-11 seeing since this past summer for months. And yeah, I'm just wondering what exactly it means. This King of Pentacles has currently had to walk away from one or two people. There's been some type of endings. They are the winner, but they don't feel very 
celebratory, victorious with this five of swords. They're trying to just keep their money and their time at a balance right now with the two of pentacles. There has been some type of completion in their life, this king of pentacles. 1010, angel number, shout out. <laughs> um, they may want to travel the world with you, Libra. Or you could see yourself traveling the world um, with your person. Masculine Libra, as you're embodying this king of pentacles energy. Your person is a queen. In this card, it shows the queen of the witches. She's very powerful. You or your person, Libra, this queen in the world card. You see how she's holding a magic wand? And it looks like she's working magic over the land. I'm hearing casting protection spells and abundance, healing of the heart chakra with her green, her green crown. This femme, whether this is your person, Libra, or yourself, your ideas are so fruitful. Her crown is, is sprouting new growth. You're constantly having these good ideas, Libra, truly. And you're constantly like growing and you really hold more power than you may know or realize. Your magic is powerful, Libra, or this queen, this femme, her magic is very powerful, very beautiful. The glamorous, the flossy, flossy. Hmm. Shout out to Fergie. Interesting. Anything else? I sat this King of Pentacles over top of the death card. This King of Pentacles could have recently experienced a death in their family. Anything else for Libra before we get into the Energy Oracle cards? Almost. Anything else for Libra? Anything else for Libra? Okay, I just heard, show them your wand. Oh my gosh. With the magician at the bottom and the king of swords. Okay, masculine Librans, you are the magi of your life. You are learning the law of attraction. You are manifesting, standing in your power here, masculine Librans, fully with the King of Swords and the Magician. Master manifestors, standing up for what you believe in, the people around you. You're not afraid to fight for what you love. This King of Swords wings are a little um, tattered, you know, a little torn. He's been through many battles. Libra and Masculine, you've been through many battles. Libra and Femme, this is a King of Swords magician energy in your life or entering. I like his energy. I like the King of Swords with the Magician. Speaking of, let me show you my wands. Just a second, Libra. I found it in the woods. Look how his wand. Look, both of their wands are spiral like my wand. Okay, you see his wand? Okay. 
Now look at her wand in the world. Spiral on the end, right? I just want you to see this. I literally found this wand in the woods. Bibbity bobbity boo, Libra. Is that not beautiful? It's very smooth, light colored wood and it's spiral. Oh, it's so powerful. I love it. Okay. Energy Oracle for Libra. Put those cards up there. We'll leave them out just in case we need a reference. One shuffle on camera. Victory. Now at the bottom, Libra. Victory over the deceit and the ops. Oh, yes. What is the energy around Libra at this time? Messages for Libra. All placements. Libra. Libra. Thank you the world at the bottom. Okay, this King of Pentacles is showing up again here as the man holding a coin. He is currently undergoing a healing of his heart chakra, Libran. If you are Libran masculine, you're showing up as a very wealthy figure, okay? But your heart chakra still may I still could use some healing, okay? The fourth chakra, the heart chakra, Archangel Raphael popped out with the man holding a coin. That's the message I get for those two cards, Libra. And then we have here, ah, uh, financial constraints, which we just got yesterday, I believe, in reverse with hostilities. You figured out something, Libra, in regards to your finances. So now your luck has changed and finances have begun to flow in your favor with the reverse financial restraints. There was some hostilities. There were some people in your energy. They have been stopped. That's what I'm being channeled. They have been stopped. They were trying to affect your finances. Hostilities, financial cons constraints. They were trying to constrain your finances, catch you up some way, somehow. It's going to resonate for differently for many of you, many different Libras. But that's what that's about. So just know that's coming to an end. The tables have turned. The tides have shifted. I keep seeing the vision of Merlin or the hermit standing out on a dock overlooking the water, just like this card. But this Magi, this hermit, this Merlin, this guide Libra of yours is watching the world. Something significant about the world card Something significant about the world and your existence, Libra. Wow. The green and the blue and these cards. It's so pretty. I'm being prompted to read about the world card. Out of this book. A card of completion and success. The world is the last stop on the fool's journey. Libra. As the fool comes to the final stop of the journey through the major arcana, the world card offers a study in the close connection between endings and beginnings. The world card is the last card in the major, but it's also a starting point for a whole new cycle of adventures and experience.
The card implies the successful completion of one journey and the celebration that's due as a result. Libra, you guys are going to want for nothing this holiday season. You're going to be celebrating. I'm hearing three of cups, ten of pentacles, ten of cups, nine of cups. When the world card falls in a reading, it's time to celebrate the conclusion of one chapter in your life and the beginning of a new world of experience. The card also suggests a state of wholeness, balance, and unity as body, mind, and spirit work as one. You might even find yourself literally reenacting the image of the world card at a wedding, dance, party, or celebration. Three of cups. That's so crazy. I had to turn the page to see that. And I can't tell you the last time I read about the world card in this book. A while. Years. So, wow. Don't forget to set limits and establish clear, firm boundaries for other people. This is about success, completion, celebration, reward, coming full circle, center stage, endings and beginnings, world travel, unity, oneness, and wholeness. Dance, Libra. The world dancer is firmly encircled by the shape of the number zero. She is dancing in the center of the universe. She is the chick in the cosmic egg. This is just so beautiful. Finally, I can feel it too. I get it. 2222 on the clock. I can feel it in my own life. Like what the tarot cards, the stories that they tell. I'm living these stories. I believe many of you, thousands of you Librans are as well. You're right here with me. Thank you so much, Librans. Please give me a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans here on YouTube. If you are subscribed, I love you from the bottom of my heart chakra. If I reach 10K by the end of this year, I will go live on New Year's Eve, have a party with you guys live and give free readings. And then at that point, for every thousand subscribers I gain after 10K, I'm going to go live and give free readings. So once I hit 11K, 12K, 13K, 14K, every thousand subscribers, I'm going to go live and give back free readings to you all. So as a way to give back my appreciation, if you want to donate to my channel, that information is in the description box. Until next time, stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace.